Monumental in size, Equinox is Moreau's greatest and most sought after color etching with Aquatint and Carborundum. Known as his premier work, this piece is colorful and highly energetic, composed of visual elements to illustrate the instant in time where the Earth's equator passes under the sun. On the top of the piece, a bright blue outlines the central subject matter, enveloping a black oval that contains a large bright yellow area on the left and symbol-like elements in the center and right. Floating stars and spots in various colors play around the edges of this central globular shape and lend a cheerful and light-hearted energy to the work. The background of the top portion is white and enhances the abstract landscape to fully appreciate the chromatic and vibrant poetic visual elements. The lower portion, a dramatic black expanse divided by a central red and white element, supports the fanciful images above. These organic shapes and lines, so masterfully executed, exhibit the use of printmaking techniques to convey painterly aspects and brush strokes. In this masterpiece, Moreau uses carborundum to add a varied texture, producing an etching that is rich in color and form. Carborundum, silicone carbide engraving, is actually an advanced etching technique which requires the use of an abrasive ground added to the etching plate to create a granulated or textured surface. Miro found that by combining this new technique with other etched methods, especially aquatint, he could create images to rival any painting, thereby elevating the art of printmaking above mere reproduction. Miro's carborundum prints set an unprecedented standard for quality and set the ground for a fruitful printmaking period in his storied career. Joan Moreau's work is often described as organic surrealism, characterized by an automatist techniques of suppressing conscious control over the creative process, thereby allowing the unconscious mind to hold sway and allowing the subconscious to be unburdened by meaning or discipline. Nature frequently provided imagery for Moreau, his shapes and images originating from nature and yet functioning outside the laws of nature and reality. Miro once said, the smallest thing in nature is an entire world. I find my themes in the fields and on the beach. Pieces of anchors, starfish, shells, they all turn up in my paintings. And so do the preposterous heads of mushrooms and the 77 shapes of the calabash. In creating the present piece, Miro instead turned skyward to observe the equinox. This remarkable work is now on display at Gallery Michael, located at 224 North Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills.